one of the fathers of Israel is Joseph. Joseph was born in 1745 B.C. He was sold into slavery by his brothers to the Midianites, and the Midianites in turn sold Joseph into Egypt in the year 1729. He was 16 years old at this time. He was made a ruler in Egypt in 1715 B.C. at the age of 30 years old. So let's look at something here. We have our present year to date of 2012, 1715 B.C. Joseph was made ruler in Egypt. That was 3,727 years ago. 3,727 years ago, a member of our family rose to be the second ruler in the most powerful civilization on the face of the earth at that time. But we never hear nothing about that because this is attributed to Ham's history. They don't give it to us. Now, let's go into the Bible to back this up. Let's go into the book of Psalms, the 105th chapter. Psalms 105. And we're going to start reading at verse 17. Psalms 105 and verse 17. All right, my brother, go ahead. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant. He sent a man before them because there was a famine in the land of Canaan. And he sent Joseph years before this famine came in to preserve life, unbeknownst to them. And... He was sold to the Midianites because his brothers was jealous of him because he was his father's favorite. And the Midianites, in turn, sold him to the Egyptians. So this 17th verse, bear that out. But continue to read. Whose feet they hurt with fetters, he was laid in iron. So when we came to this country as slaves and they put us in chains and irons, this wasn't nothing new. This is how the whole thing began. Go ahead on and read. Until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. Go ahead. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators wisdom. Now here go a man that went into Egypt as a slave. And the Lord tried him during the period of his captivity, and he rose to be the second ruler in Egypt to teach the senators of Egyptians wisdom and to bind the people of Egypt at his pleasure. This is a part of our history and this is what one of our fathers was doing 3,727 years ago when we were kings. See this is a part of our history we don't know anything about. So now the book said he sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold as a servant down in Egypt. Right. Let's go and take a look at the rest of our family coming down into Egypt because this took place before our entire family got down there. Let's go back to Genesis. Genesis chapter 46. Because we're going to walk our history down from 1732 B.C. all the way down to this present time. Genesis 46, and we're going to start reading at verse 1. Genesis 46 and 1. All right, my brother, go ahead. And Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices unto God of his father Isaac. And God spake unto Israel in the visions of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob, and he said, Here am I. And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for, for I will there make of thee a great nation. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will also surely bring thee up again. And Joseph shall put his hand upon thine eyes. So now this is the almighty God talking to our father Jacob. And he's telling Jacob, fear not to take your children down into Egypt, because it's there that I'm going to make of you a great nation, and I'm going to be with you, 
and you are going to see your son Joseph and he's going to lay his hands upon your eyes. Because at this point, Jacob hadn't seen his son since he was 16 years old. Joseph is now 30 years old and he's ruling in Egypt. Continue at verse 5. You did 5? All right, skip down to verse 26. No, you didn't. You did 4. Sorry about that. Okay, continue at verse 5. And Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father and their little ones and their wives in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. Now look, our father came down into Egypt with the wagons that Pharaoh provided for us. We didn't go down into Egypt as slaves. We went down into Egypt as guests of Pharaoh because one of Jacob's sons was a second ruler in Egypt. So we went down into Egypt, free people, and we went down into Egypt because that was the only place that had food at this time, because there was a severe famine over all the earth at this time. And the Lord instructed our father, fear not to go down there, because I'm going to be with you, and you are going to be rejoined unto your son. Skip down to verse 26 and continue. All the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his loins, Besides Jacob's sons, wives all, wives, all the souls were three score and six. Three score and six is 66, right? 66 people don't make a nation. No. But the Lord told him, don't be afraid to go down there because it's there that I'm going to make of you a nation. Go ahead on and read. And the sons of Joseph, which were born him in Egypt, were two souls. All the souls of the house of Jacob, which came into Egypt, were three score and ten. So there are 70 people that's coming down into Egypt, and we settled in the land of Goshen. And that was one of the most fertile areas in Egypt where the Lord allowed our fathers to settle when we came into Egypt. Every time the Lord brings us someplace, we don't realize it, but he put us in prime real estate. In all of the metropolitan cities of the world where, our, where we are, we are sitting on prime real estate. And we don't appreciate it, and we run out to the suburbs, into the swamp land and soft lands to chase another people, and then they double back and come back to the prime real estate where we were at. The Egyptians was in the desert. They was in the arid desert. They had to travel to get to the Nile Delta and wait for it yearly to overflow its banks so they could have their crops. But we were right there and prime real estate where it was green, lush, and water. And this is something that we don't even pay no attention to. But we are there as free people, and we are there for a period of 30 years. Now, let's 